right, this is entertainment you most welcome to Lebron channel, right here with me, Jay Brown. And of course, you know how we do, we just like doing one prison. And tell it, some yawa big pie, we I just they all make we all laugh about it. That's why I'm coming your way with this. You know, sometimes we need to give you the serious aspect of entertainment and then the laughter or the uh, uh, lighter side of entertainment. I'm here to just give you some vibes and some lighter side of entertainment. Whereby a lady just bashed into a scene where there's film going on. I mean, video, the director, the actress are all on set. Tali was scatter me, The lady came to scatter everything. <laughs> you see, this one of these actress that are desperate to get into the movie industry. This is what will be happening to you. These people go chop you, son. They'll promise you roles. They'll promise you to be on set and all that. And definitely, they will go and take a more qualified person that can make the work go on. So I said, Charlie, I guess they won't make watch some a video. Uh -huh. You go, hey, you go laugh, huh? Just watch this video. I'll be right back. Rolling. Action. Shit. What's the video? And then me and the mutual. Shit. Why not be mutual? Why not you channel? Mr. Why not you channel? Again, what is it? I said, I said, me I said, 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 I I'm not going to be a gentleman. What? 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 What did you say to the account? I am not afraid. I all right, so let me just give you the gist what really happened at that scene. You know, the director, the one that was being attacked, promised this lady a role in a movie. I mean, they are into series, yeah. And this, an upcoming, I mean, a, a director and wannabe actress who wants to be famous at all costs. So he approached this guy, and then the guy said, Oh, Truly, I'm the best man to be uh, to get you to wherever you want to be. So, if this is the case, trust me, I'm coming out with a series and I'll put you on. So, whatever I want from you is just be my girlfriend or whatever it is. When I ask you, you just need to, I mean, do it for me. So, according to this lady, he's been sorting out this director of a guy when it comes to money, when it comes to bedmatism. Yeah, is that bedmatism. There's somebody as I don't want to get into details like they be having sex they are adults yeah so she said the guy chop him man <laughs> that would have said to him he did tell me he said right now the pussy self excuse me a lot he said the teen self they pay him the guy they take money from him the guy has been taking money from her and all that and at long last when it's set for them to get on set to cast that movie or to be casted, the director went to choose another person. You see, the whole question is, is this lady qualified? Or you just want to be an actress, uh, an actress, so uh, when you just come, if this director is, I mean, uh, your girlfriend or you've been doing things with the director, they definitely, you need, the director need to give you a lead role. No, we don't do that. How can a person give you a lead role when you've not been into acting before? You are just a novice. You are now coming. So how do you expect the director to give you a role? Because you have no experience. 
And when it comes to acting, you need faces, you need experienced people that can market, I mean, your movie. Movie is a serious business. So you just don't walk into the same thinking, oh, okay, he is my, uh, my boyfriend. We've been doing things. I've been giving him money. And I want to be an actor and he's my friend. So therefore, automatically, you're going to get a movie role, be a lead role. No, you need to start somewhere. These are some of the cases. And I'm all, these directors, SMO, if they keep attacking you this way, trust me, you're going to change your ways because I knew some people who have impregnated a whole lot of young ladies because just because they want to be an actress. I know a lot of people who are misusing fine ladies, ladies who are even married or even married. It's in the industry. We'll be talking about it, but people really think we're joking or we just want to get the image of directors or movie makers. But here you are. This is the video. This is what we'll be talking about all day. If they keep attacking you, I'm sure you guys will desist from this shameful act of sleeping and demanding sex from people before giving them a, a movie role. This is what the industry is made of. The industry is full of nonsense because uh, uh, we, we don't have, I mean, the people in the head of, helm of affairs are just greedy. They don't take, they don't, they just don't mind who comes to the industry and who is responsible for this or who is not responsible for this. We are just there. We have no industry. Everyone is doing what he or she likes. And that's what will happen. A young guy like you, just a young guy like you, you just started something, building a movie, being a director and all that. Look at what you are getting yourself involved in. What people did that didn't get anything from it. Our people, these young guys, are also following that full step. And as of now, you are now calling it a rap because you'll be attacked. It's a rap, it's a rap. Jimmy, why don't you stand there? Why don't you continue and do whatever you cast them, keep casting the people? And you like you see what will happen to you. So I'm saying the lady have the right to attack this director because these directors, this is what they do for these young ladies, these ladies who are desperate, who want to be actress, who don't even have any experience. But when you promise them uh, a lead role in a movie, and then, oh, whatever you ask them, they just go give to you. That be the Yawa way this director do. You've been attacked. Next time, I hope this will serve as a lesson for this guy to do, to, I mean, make things right and stop those kind of foolish things they've been doing in the movie industry. These are some of the reasons why people don't want their wives or their children to get into the movie industry. And then it's killing the movies. It's like, now we don't even have movie industry anymore. Because when you are a lady, before the person will even cast you or before the person will even put you in his or her movie, He's demanding something from you. Some people are even ready to pay for them to be casted in movies, which is not right. Because all I know is um, when you need cast for your movie, you just do, uh, what, what do you call it? Audition, right? You just do audition and select the people who befits the roles. That's what we do. Or outside there, that's what we do. Or some years ago, some way back, that's what we do. But right now, Ghana, your new dad, now your mom roll. Woman scar, now your mom roll. If we get something beneficial from you, they will give you roll. And the people who are qualified, the people who deserve, who truly deserve those positions, no one will call them. And the industry is dying off. The industry, it's not that the industry is dead. The glamour movies and the kumo movie. Now everybody is into short movies, social media, and then a, a series. That's all we have. There's no movie casting anymore. I don't know if this will serve us. I, I just want to bring this to our viewers so that they will know that whatever we'll be talking about or whatever it is that we discuss on pro, uh, our program is truly there. It's not like we want to get their image or we are damaging their well, profession and all that. No, we are not yet to do that. We are not here to do that. But we are here to tell you whatever happens 
in our industry. So here you are. The director has been attacked because he promised someone a role and he didn't deliver on that. All right, it's been a great show with me, Jay Brown, on your favorite channel, Liberia Channel. The show is produced by Peter Akoto and my camera by Kwesi Black. Have a great day. We out.